Hey guys, welcome. It's Lacey Figueredo here and I wanted to talk to you about invoicing through PayPal, right? I have a video about Square and I'm actually now currently using PayPal so I wanted to do another video explaining to you and showing you how I invoice through it and that way you can kind of decide what works for you. I personally am really liking PayPal now, um, especially because um, at some point you're probably going to want to get a, uh, a Cenocyte, which they, um, they accept PayPal, they do not accept Square. And that way you can kind of start building up your customers in PayPal now with their addresses. It seems to be so much easier for me. So I'm going to screen share real quick so that you guys can see. Don't mind my six million tabs, but oh dear. I wonder if I can move this. Hold on. Now I need to find PayPal. Okay, so here we are on PayPal, right? When you get into PayPal, here's what it looks like. Here's your dashboard. And you're going to go to, ma uh, not manage invoices. What am I thinking? PayPal. Create invoice. And in their email address, you can either put in their email address if you have it. Um, so say we're doing um, her life out loud with lipstick at gmail.com. Okay, so you click, you can add customer detail, and that's where you're going to put in Lacey, F I G, Figurito. Um, and actually, I don't want it to do that. Um, you can put in their phone number. You can put in their shipping. Um, so then you have it and then this is going to create your customer profile, right? So you can put in their shipping, save that. Um, and I think it changed the email address. So I actually need to edit that real quick. Her life. A lot of lipstick. Whoops. People having issues. Okay, so now here you have it. Like, I still need to put a company logo. You can kind of make it personalized. It's really fun. And then you're going to put the item name. So I have a couple of the names already in here, like um, Shearberry. So let's say we don't have um, something in there. Let's create. So a uh, color that we don't have in there. Maybe we don't have nude. I don't think we have nude. Oh, no, we do. Um, car caramel. Apple. So see that it doesn't have car caramel apple lip sense color, right? And that's $25. And you're going to put Idaho's tax or whatever state you are. And then from here, I can actually save the item now, which is great because it's going to be saved for the next time. And say then she also got a car caramel apple lip sense collection and then that is actually $55 with tax and then I'm going to come down here and say okay so she got those two um maybe you had a giveaway you can put in your discount what percentage just remember if you're a lip sense distributor you cannot give more than 15 percent off to anyone um and then if you're doing shipping you have the choice to put in I usually do two or three dollars for um a color sorry for a single color I do two dollars for a color or for a collection I do four and then any bigger items I do four or five or six dollars um because that's a lot of packaging that you're doing so you can put here like um maybe I am gonna just do four dollars for her today and then you can say thank you so much for your order you are a rock star and I can't wait to see this color on you you can say you're beautiful and wonderful thank you so much for ordering whatever you choose to put right and then you can push send and then what they're gonna do is they're gonna get an email they are gonna be able to um, I wonder if I can cancel this I don't know. Anyways, stop share. So now once you have that, you are going to have your profile of people. You're going to have all their addresses. Um, a lot more people seem to use PayPal is what I've come to find out. Um, so they're used to it. So that is something that you guys can think about. Um, 
But other than that, um, that's how you use PayPal. It's pretty simple. It's pretty awesome. You're able to, like I said, put in your own little logo and have fun with it. So PayPal is a great option. If you love Square, awesome. Um, I personally am switching over to PayPal and I seem to, I just personally like it a lot more. Um, like I said, a little bit, I think more people use it. And so it's just easier for me. What I have found out though is sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, if I don't have their address, you are going to get an email confirmation that they pay. And a lot of times if you click on that, their address is actually in there so that you can have it to send. So that is one thing that I have. Oh, I said myself in face. I found that I really, really like. So, all right, you guys enjoy PayPal. And I hope that you guys have a great day.